to me i don't know if i was ready but at some point i got lonely and i was like yeah maybe and then i'll tell them i mean don't get me twisted girl turn but i i I don't think I was that ready also because also na le to yoko hosta like be hambe hambe ibe in English Angazi chomi but thanks for that question ne And also I feel gizame ukjola at my peak I don't know if it's my peak now or what or what's going on I can't say you guys would actually like judge it better from the outside since minangi pagat i don't think i have like a clear view of it intang basela kakhulu ukuthi ngisukeliwe ngiyihlalele ngasukelwa ngiyihlalele yazi ngasukelwa ngiyihlalele ngiyihlalele you so ask me how come i don't know since my cousin had lost you around me you were so shocked to see me watching your live lalela oh mina abantu bam abantu bam abantu bam ngiyanthanda mina guys I don't come here and, and try to act like I'm this Miss Perfect and try to look so perfect and, and sell you this. I'm so rich. I'm this Miss Perfect that's so rich. I can afford this. I can afford that. I just, I just come online and just try to make people feel good and try to feel good about myself also. I just do that. I never just come out here and, j and then giza muguti giza nze guti ngi bugege so perfect that people feel less of themselves. I don't do that. It is this generation that's rubbish dating culture. Yo, it's tiring. Yo, it's tiring. Hey guys. Okay, how do you stay confident and strong in the midst of everything that is said and done towards you? Baby, I think, I think... I think you know what I do actually I obsess over myself the more I obsess over myself the more I don't care what people say because if me now I'm feeling good I don't care what they have to say about me the more I obsess over myself the more I feel good the more I don't care what anyone else says about me because it didn't go so good this is my life it's my story even when they're judging how happy i am with myself judging from where i come from like i'm happy with myself i'm proud i'm proud that i could actually give myself a comfortable life like a comfortable comfortable life and i'm not competing with anyone i am not trying to be this girl Jay, who's who wants to be praised like do you know who i am you know i'm not that girl that girl true it comes from within once you're happy and confident with yourself outside comments don't matter they don't so one thing about me is i will obsess over myself and then i think also let me say this actually i actually loved doing because i think i'm obsessed with myself but I, I, just, I don't know. I wasn't doing it for the people. I was doing it with more obsessed with myself. Now I am more obsessed with myself. And then back when I bang pass a miss I am the mess, but Gabriela full time clean. This is still pain. This is for pain because damn, damn, this lipo was the worst lipo ever and I don't think I wanna do it ever again. And then these, these are antibiotics. They're so big. They're so huge. And then these, I have to chew these. Oh, they're so nice. They, they taste like chocolate. Just spill these beans about myself. I think, I think I always had a thing for DJs. That's the thing. Like, I don't know, like... <sighs> But like I, I had a thing for DJs for the longest time and I'm fundi. I'm fundi, but same fundi le manje. I swear to God, I'm fundi le manje. Niang pasa means I ask contact them fundi just in I always had a thing for DJs. I don't know why. Like I don't know. 
because we industry, I think it's I want to that I've fooled around with. It's it's just well, I'm a DJ. It's never the the hip hop guys. It's never the the actors. It's never the soccer players. It's never the not that they don't come to me. I actually want to try dating out of what I'm I'm usually comfortable around. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not saying that I'm not gonna try dating. I didn't know you were with fellows. Honestly, not your type, but I. Yo, but home, guys. You guys keep coming for me, yes. <laughs> I really liked him. I really liked him. I really did. I don't know. There was just something fascinating about him. Like, I got fascinated and I got curious. I got very curious. But sing, have you healed? Yeah. Oh, it's been a month. It's just that in Dabas Pume Manje, but it's been like a month, a full ass month. Actually, it's two months. Okay, a month and some weeks and like two weeks. Just date Nigerians once. Hey. Hey. Don't try soccer players, yo. Never that, honey. Like, never that. I bet you can't bang shell and jenga la boge. Futi gege. Why do I feel like you're gonna get back together? Uh uh. Sana no. After that embarrassing, embarrassing breakup, no. That nigga lost respect for me, so no. I'm not going back. I'm not. Cindy McAfee spilled the tea in her recent live stream. She got real about her past relationships, saying she thinks they didn't work out because she's reached her peak. She admitted she wasn't ready for a relationship but loves being in them, so she can't help herself. Cindy also said she's authentic and doesn't sell dreams to her followers like some influencers do. She doesn't care what people think because it doesn't pay her bills. She's proud of her accomplishments and sometimes looks back to appreciate how far she's come. The reason she gets surgery? She's obsessed with herself and finds it fun to go under the knife to make herself more appealing. To herself, her followers warned her about dating DJs, saying they have a bad reputation in relationships. Cindy's followers advised her to avoid her type, which reminded me of a TikToker who said to respond to the guy, you're ignoring because he's the one who will love you. Cindy mentioned she's over fellow. Even though it's only been a month since their breakup, she said she wouldn't go back to him because of the disrespect she received when the relationship ended. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, hit the notification be for new videos. Until then, take care. Have a fantastic day. Bye. Yeah, yeah.